Uh, are you a doctor? Yeah, are you playing with the x-ray? We're at Kosai. We're playing in the children's place. I've got Porter. Ray's with Allison. Should we go see what else there is? You come this way? And these are supposed to be babies. I don't know where the babies are. We'll have to go find them. Look, Porter. Ooh, is that a microscope? Look, that's your hand. Do you see it? Look. Is that cool? You can move this around and look at the different stuff. Are you driving? Woohoo! Good You're all done? Good job. Here, you want to draw, drive this one? It out. Grayson and I have been down here building a Lego marble run, and this is our first test to see if it works. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna push it a little. Longest roll ever. Woo! It worked! Yay! These creations are not for the faint of heart. Santa brought him this for Christmas, and he loves building it, but it's very delicate and will fall apart very easily, so he always needs Anthony or I to help him. So... Doing multiple. Ooh, that's fun. Are they all gonna go to their bed? Woohoo! They all go to their bed. Yeah. So we obviously are back from Kosai. It's um evening, almost evening. It's like 4 30. We had so much fun at Kosai today. Uh we went just me, my sister, and the two boys. We always go once a year. It's like our annual trip to Kosai. It's fun, but it's expensive. It's far away. It's like 25 minutes. It's in downtown. You have to pay to park, and then the price of admission is just astronomical. So that's why we only go once a year. But the kids absolutely love it. They loved it this year, too. They have so many different... I mean, I'm sure you guys have been to Kosai. But they have so many different... Um, zones that you can go through there's an ocean exhibit there's a uh, energy exhibit there's a um, like generation exhibit where you can like walk through towns of different ages there is um i don't know what it's called there's like a experiment exhibit like gears and i forget what it's called Anyway, lots of different exhibits. The kids loved it. The highlight of the of Kosai, at least for my kids' ages, are at the top. They have like this little um, little kid area place. I forget what it's called. And basically, they just have like all sorts of things that little kids like to do. They've got like fake food and a fake kitchen, and they've got like a water area where you can like get on a smock and play with water activities they've got a fire truck you can drive and a helicopter you can 
like obviously it's all pretend um but you can pretend to be in a hospital you can pretend to be at a construction site so my kids always loved that area so that's where we started off first and then we did the other exhibits after my kids definitely don't last the whole day we made it about three hours i think maybe it's a little less than three hours they did really well porter did awesome as did gray it's funny to see their different personalities though because gray like wanted to do everything but just for little bits of time and then he wanted to move on and porter just wanted to find one thing that he liked and just stayed with it the whole time so they were totally different i could not go and do that by myself because the whole time like obviously they're two different ages so their interests are vastly different not only do they have different ages but their personalities are different too grayson was always in one direction and porter was in the other so i would take one kid and my sister would take the other i don't know what we're gonna do when we have three i mean next year we'll go because we go once a year and we'll have the baby but maybe I'll have Anthony keep her or whatever. She won't be too hard the first year because she won't be mobile. But once I have three mobile kids, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> but yeah, it was really fun. It's always tiring though. It's just like a day at the zoo. Like it's just a lot, a lot of walking and just a lot. And of course, sorry, Grayson's playing with um, walkie talkies right now. It's fun, but it definitely takes uh, a lot of work. It's just just a lot but it was good because we need to get out of the house we've just been kind of hunkering low doing <laughs> doing potty training with porter we took a break this morning to have fun at kosai and now we're back on the potty training i'm down here with gray and anthony's upstairs with porter um doing some potty training so we're just hanging out what are you doing I want to play on the walkie-talkie. You want to play walkie-talkies with me? Yeah. All right. Gray's like in the one-on-one -on -one time. What was your favorite part of Kosai today? The ocean. Ocean? That was your favorite part? Uh-huh. Okay. Cool. I went to the right <clears throat> side and the left side. Mmm. Always an air of caution when going to Kosai because it's just a cesspool of germs, but... Gray has started to come down with a cold. Unfortunately, we made it what, like oh, two weeks and now he's got a cold. So he's already got a cold. I'm just waiting for it to hit Porter. Porter's always a couple days behind and then he'll get it too. So I'm hoping Anthony and I don't get it. Like I said, we leave for Florida in a couple days. So it's never fun to go on vacation and be sick, but we'll see how we do. It always seems like I get one of the kids' colds a year and then all the other colds like I am immune to, whether it's just good hygiene or I've already had the viruses and they don't affect me or they affect kids more. I don't know what it is, but I already got my one sickness. It was in the fall, so I'm hoping I'm good uh, the rest of the year until next fall, but I guess we'll see how I do. But... Yeah, we're just going to hang out here the rest of the day, just take it easy, play in the basement, dinner, I don't know, I guess nap I, I time. nap time, Gray's tired, so he'll probably go to bed, like right on time tonight, Porter got like a short nap because we got home late, but I wanted him to get at least a little bit of sleep because he needs it, but he was very grumpy when we woke him up from his nap. So that's why he's upstairs with Anthony, because he was not happy. He's watching a little bit of show and doing some potty training. He did go down for a nap and wake up dry, which was very encouraging. Um, update on potty training. It's, I don't know. I don't really know if it's like sticking. There will be times where he he'll come up to me and tell me he has to go pee. There will be times where he just goes and sits on the potty and pees on his own. There's also times where he'll just be standing there looking at me and peeing straight on the floor. So, I don't know. I don't know if he's getting it. He's definitely motivated by the candy, but I wonder if that's like his only motivation. Like, I don't know. So we're just taking it day by day. If it happens, it happens. And if it doesn't, then well, maybe we'll just keep going at it until it clicks. Thankfully, it's winter, like I said, so... We don't get out a lot, so we spend a lot of time indoors, and it's easy to just keep him naked. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see, but the big thing is he's still willing to sit on the potty and pee. 
that is the biggest thing. Once he starts fighting us on it, that's when I know to just stop. And he hasn't done that yet. So I feel like we're on track, maybe. I'm not sure. Grayson has already destroyed our creation. Are you creating a new one now? Yes, I created this one. Okay, well, all that work. I mean, that, that took us 20 to 30 minutes. And now we're making a new one. All right, then. Oh, no! <laughs> 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 <laughs